So what's the deal with red light therapy? We're seeing it everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're seeing it on mainstream news outlets. Our friends are talking about it. Chances are, you know someone that has a mask or a panel or a torch. So I've got six reasons why red light therapy is exploding in popularity. And hang around for the last reason because it's great news for you as the consumer. And I've got something that's going to make it even better. Reason number one, mainstream media coverage of red light therapy is growing. In the first week of February 2025, at least 10 big mainstream news outlets had an article on red light therapy. CBS News interviewed a dermatologist and they came out saying that yes, red light therapy is legit, especially for skin health. This is quite refreshing because last year on a New Zealand breakfast TV show, they interviewed a dermatologist and she said red light therapy was useless and even worse, dangerous. Now I've critiqued that interview. You can check that out later. It's worth watching, but it is good to see big news outlets finally getting experts on and sharing what we've known for a long time. Woman in Home magazine even has a section for the best red light therapy products on their site. Though of course, all of these experts, all of these reviews are only scratching the surface when it comes to red light therapy. If you want a true deep dive, then check out our Light Therapy Insiders blog or of course, content on this channel. Just two days ago, the Daily Beast tried a $2,000 red light therapy blanket. And according to them, this blanket was worth every penny. Red light therapy masks have been covered by CNET, a massive technology website, and red light therapy has been featured in the Men's Health magazine. So yes, it's everywhere, even in the mainstream. Point number two, the peer-reviewed science on red light therapy, or photobiomodulation as it's more accurately known in the scientific community, is growing. Not only is it growing, it's growing at an exponential rate. You see, there's a researcher by the name of Vladimir Heiskanen, and he's created a public database sharing all the photobiomodulation studies. As of February this year, there were nearly eight and a half thousand studies on photobiomodulation. Eight and a half thousand. It's huge. What's crazy, when I started first covering red light therapy back in 2017, there were only about three or four thousand studies, which is still a significant amount of research on one topic. But that's literally doubled in less than a decade. So if you work this out, we're getting 500 odd studies published a year. That's 10 studies a week on red light therapy. Vladimir himself said he's struggling to keep the database he's managing updated with all the studies. So what does this mean for you? And what's the significance on red light therapy's growing popularity? Well, it means we know more about this technology. We know what works and what doesn't. We have a better understanding of how to use this technology. Saying that, there's still a lot we don't know. But just a simple search through our Facebook group, for instance, and you'll see some of the amazing transformations and positive experiences. We know this stuff works even though we may not know exactly how it works or exactly how to get the best from it. I reckon in another five or 10 years, we're gonna know so much more than we do now. And that brings me to point number three. Red light therapy is so popular because it works. And I know this may be a big shock for a lot of people. How can light and sometimes invisible light when we're using near infrared, how can it have such a profound positive impact on our health and well-being? I know, I still struggle to get my head around it and I've been in this space a long time. Even when I was first introduced to this topic and I read the science and I looked at the mechanisms of action, I still thought to myself, this sounds too good to be true. It wasn't until I personally started using red light therapy and noticed some changes, which for me was a reduction in dental uh, sensitivity. I have some high gum points. That's when I realized, huh, there is something to this. Of course, fast forward a few years and red light therapy is now a staple in my daily routine. I see benefits such as improved wound healing, better recovery and performance in the gym, less pain when dealing with dental health or old injuries, and the list goes on and on. Now, if we go back to those 8,000 odd studies on red light therapy, about 80 to 90% of them show a positive outcome. And a big chunk of the remaining studies show a neutral effect with only a small amount showing a negative effect. And it's no real coincidence. Human beings need light. Our bodies need it. Our cells need it. We thrive off it. It's just that scientists have found there's a particular wavelength of light in the red and near infrared band that we really, really thrive off. And yes, I know that begs the question, well, if we get outside, 
quite a lot do we need red light therapy it's something i've touched on in other videos in fact i recently just published a video looking at how much therapeutic red light is available from the sun so be sure to check that out but the beauty of red light therapy is you can take elements of the sun particular wavelengths get rid of the ones you don't want maybe blue light maybe uv light or fire infrared light for instance up the intensity up the dosage and treat a particular area such as a knee ligament injury or soak the whole body in therapeutic red light right before bedtime when you don't want the dangers of uv light or the stimulating effect of blue light now if you still have doubts check out my video looking at the amazing case studies of red light therapy where i show how the benefits of red light therapy or just go back and watch one of my monthly red light therapy news videos where every month i share a new scientific study and how red light therapy has provide benefits We've covered topics such as pain, joint health, arthritis, blood sugar control, sleep, inflammation, dental health, hair growth. The list is rather extensive. Speaking of which, if you're enjoying this video and have found value in it, can I ask a quick favor? Can you hit the like button down below? And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this and some of my monthly news videos and reviews, be sure to subscribe as well. The next reason why I think red light therapy is exploding in popularity is because of the shift towards more natural, lower side effect, drug-free treatments. Red light therapy is literally light. There's no pills, there's no injections. You don't even have to go to a clinic to use it. More and more people are trying to get away from traditional medicine as such. Now, of course, traditional medicine has a huge place to play. If it weren't for some medications, I have family members that wouldn't be here today. But still, a lot of people are trying to reduce their reliance on pharmaceuticals. All of this is part of a wider societal trend. Sales in organic foods have increased by 800% from the year 2000 to the year 2022. Personal health and wellness expenditure is expected to grow by 50% in the next three years. And wellness tourism is growing at a 12% year over year rate. We also found a 2024 article saying that red light therapy is expected to grow by 5% in the coming years. Personally, from what I've seen, including the growth of this channel and sales data, I think this number is far too low. As more people learn about the benefits of red light therapy and want to tap into more natural treatments, red light therapy is going to continue growing. Point number five, there's a massive increase in consumer choice when it comes to red light therapy products. You see, many years ago when I started looking at red light therapy panels, I did this red light therapy comparison series. Looking back, it's rather cringeworthy to watch when it comes to production value and content delivery. But at the time, there were only five red light therapy panels. You see, I got them all and I compared them on various metrics, power radiance, EMF levels, sound, operation, price, of course, and I tried to determine which one was the best. I did the same comparison last year and there were 17 panels. That means a lot more companies have entered the market and there's a lot more consumer choice, which is great. It means there's better products, more options in terms of buying from the local companies, geographically, for instance, lower shipping costs, and most importantly, more innovative features. Whereas a panel used to emit two wavelengths, now there's panels out there that emit eight. You have apps, you have remote controls, you have touch screens with built-in preset modes. You can change intensities, you can pulse the light, you can set alarms, you can do a lot of things with a light panel. Now, on this channel, I focus exclusively at red light therapy products, and I can't even keep up with all the companies that are hitting the market. Not a week goes by where a company reaches out to me and says, hey, can you talk about us? Can you look at our new products and new panels? It's crazy. I mean, it's great. It's great for everyone, but I personally can't even keep up. Of course, with new companies entering the space, they're pumping money into Facebook ads and newsletters and reaching out to influencers on TikTok. That means more exposure, more information's out there, more products, more advertising, which is more reason why you are seeing more red light therapy content. And it's not just new companies with a few new bells and whistles. We're seeing completely new products to hit the market. Look at the Kineon Move Plus Pro. They have a product for joint health, and now they're coming out with a gut product. We have V-Light, who specialize in treating brain disorders such as Parkinson's or dementia. We have extremely high-powered handheld devices such as the Ironforge by Chroma. We have oral products. We have mats and wraps. We have a ton of products in the beauty space, whether it's masks or panels you lie under or handheld devices for spot treatment. Honestly, there's a product for 
everything, every condition out there, which again is awesome. And finally, I think this is the biggest reason why red light therapy is growing so much. And it's also something I can help you with. And that is because of the price. You see, red light therapy is rather inexpensive. You can get some low cost panels for a couple hundred dollars. And that small device can treat that sore shoulder or that sunburn back or your face or whatever other issue you have. A couple hundred dollars. It's quite amazing really you see the science the original science on photobiomodulation was done using lasers the only way to get enough power enough intensity enough light photons at a particular wavelength required high powered expensive lasers and of course this meant you could only treat a very small area however as we talked about earlier the science was solid we knew this worked it's only been with the advent of leds and the massive cost savings that LEDs now bring that we've seen this explosion of consumer level red light therapy products. Think of it this way. When I was a child, I remember going to a sports event at nighttime and they had big halogen lights. Those lights required a lot of energy and weren't very efficient at doing the job, but they still worked. Nowadays you go to a stadium and they're using LEDs to light up the whole stadium. Cheaper to produce, cheaper to run, cheaper to maintain. LEDs have advanced that much, which means we can now get a red light therapy panel. It can emit a heap of energy, a significant amount of energy, and it's rather inexpensive to produce. Even better, it doesn't require maintenance, and the lifespan of these LEDs can be 50 or even 100,000 hours. So no longer is photobiomodulation only available for scientists or elite sports teams. You and I, your parents, my parents, they can spend a couple hundred dollars and they can have a device in their own home. And I actually think this is one of the biggest reasons, the biggest driver why red light therapy is just exploding. People were hearing about it. People were seeing the stuff online and then they're trying it. They're going out and spending a few hundred dollars on a small handheld torch or a small handheld battery powered device. They're saying, wow, that really helped my sore knee or oh, wow that really cleared up my skin or oh, wow i slept better after using that so what do they do they start researching the topic they start saving up for that larger panel maybe a thousand dollars or a mask or whatever it may be that sends more people to the youtube videos and and more conversations with your peers and of course online now i said at the start of the video i had something that could help you and that is a discount page you see over at light therapy insiders we've been co covering this topic for numerous years now and i've put together all the deals and discounts that i've found for some of the world's biggest red light therapy companies now i do need to mention a lot of these companies i am affiliated with however if you're looking for some great deals sometimes some exclusive deals just for this channel then head over to that discount page i'll put a link to it down below and yeah you're going to be able to save of course if you need more help finding the best red light therapy product for you check out our buyer's guide video or head over to our facebook group and post a question in there or even better just keep watching some of my content there's a really good video to watch up here i highly recommend checking that out